Hey guys, I'm Simatos Ken. We're about to play Presentable Liberty. We shall start from the beginning because I really don't know what this is about. Day one. I think I'm locked up in a cell. A cell? Yep. Then we locked up in a cell. And I just kind of experienced the story through my cell. It's going to be real nice and fun. There's a clock. Beautiful clock that. Uh, if that's minutes, then good lord. There's a door out there. Hey! Hello? Let me out! Why am I the only... Why is there like a white door in like a jail cell? It's like a... Am I in someone's house? Trapped? That was... Oop! Oop! Open the letter under the door. Oh, I got something. My dear friend, I hope this letter finds you well. How is prison life going for you? I know it must be hard, especially in times like these. As for me... I will soon start another of my journeys into the unknown. Wish me luck. Salvador the Traveler. Well, Salvador, it's nice. How did you... Where did that letter come from? Salvador. Hmm. Oh! Salvador. This is for you. Friend. I hope you aren't feeling too lonely in that dark cell. Just in case. I have put a little bug friend in for you in the envelope alongside this letter. Salvador. Bug friend! Where'd you go, bug friend? <gasps> there you are, little bug friend. Got a crouch? No. Bug, bug friend. Come out from under the bed, bug friend. I'm gonna call you Steven. 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 Ah, Steven. Ah, Steven, there's another letter. I wanna click you. You, you just hide under your little bed, Steven. You're, you're such a cutie. Oh, oh, Steven, what does this say? Good day. We are happy to inform you that you have been selected by me, Dr. Money, to join an exclusive program for inmates all over the country. We have noticed that due to the recent outbreak of a terrible virus, the population of our beautiful nation has started dwindling. This is unfortunate, but there is still hope. You. Ah, okay. Recent studies show that 98% of our great nation's population is already infected with the virus. Incidentally, many of the remaining 2% are, I thought it said fire, are prison inmates like you. We hope that you continue to be vigilant and remain healthy. In order to fight depression and suicidal thoughts in the, in the, in the dire situation you have found yourself in, you'll be assigned your own personal happy buddy. Enjoy. <laughs> Hello, hello, hello! I'm your own personal happy buddy! I have a present for you! Five confetti poppers! Have fun! Ooh, ooh, okay, inter okay, interact, one, two, three. Ah, what did all that say? Press right mouse to use items. Ha! Confetti pop! Confetti pop! Woohoo! Steven! There's confetti! Where you at, buddy? Steven? You don't like to part? Oh yeah, Steven likes to party! Hey, he came out and he's like, okay, I'm going back to bed. Whatever, Steven. What is this? Hello, my buddy friend buddy. Did you enjoy the confetti? If so, I have another present for you. Woo, presents! It's a Dr. Money portable entertainment machine. Game included. Have lots of fun, smiley face. Use the mouse wheel to slip between items. Woo! All right. Press right mouse button to use. Press the right mountain to again. Oh, I got another letter. My dear friend, I have started my journey to the Far East with no clear goal in mind. On the road, I met a nice woman who gave me directions to the nearest lake. You know how much I like swimming. Steven, that letter was just stupid. Anyway, how do I play my game here? Uh, what's that? Space to confirm. Boop. Oh, here we go. Meow, meow. Oh, I missed the apple. Hang on, I gotta get it before I read my next letter. Got it. All right. What is it? Friend, this lake is beautiful. It is so peaceful and quiet here. Have you ever been so alone that you cannot convince yourself of the fact that other people exist anymore? So, well, I happen to be in, in jail, Salvador. Friend, I have a present for you. It's a painting that always reminds me of the spirit of travel. I hope it will liven up your cell a little bit, Sal. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Well, thanks, Sal. The spirit of travel is just some, uh, some pictures slapped on there. Hey, buddy! How are you doing? If you're feeling down, maybe a song will help you. La 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 la, happy, la la la, glad to la 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 la, be alive, 
la la la. Steven. I think they're taunting me. They're jerks. Let's play my game. Alright, let's play. Let's play my little my snake game. It has no battery. Oh, god dang it. Ah! Ah, suck. I'm really bad at this game, Steven. It's okay, though. I'll just... Yeah, I did it. Oh, 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 a letter from who? <laughs> that was fun, wasn't it? I hope you keep a song in your heart always. For you are smart and kind and important. I don't, I don't believe him. He's, he's being kind of mean to me, you know? God dang it. Ah, oh, god. Suck. He's, he's taunting me and I'm just, I'm just sitting here in jail. Oh, I got another, another note. Hang on, I gotta get this apple, dude. Oh, yeah. Alright, what is it? Sal? Good day, Mr. Smiley. We have noticed that you have not met your happiness quota yet. Remember, you only get to see your daughter again if you manage to lower the suicide rates in prison. What? What does that have to do with me? Dear Blank. We may have actually sent you a letter addressed to a certain Mr. Smiley. We want you to... <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Mr. Smiley, he's being... He's being... Uh, they have his family. We want you to know that this mistake has been rectified. And that... Is it getting darker? That your happy buddy really does like you and he's your best friend. Purely because you are so friendly. It is getting darker. Oh, no. I have a light? <laughs> How are you doing? I, I'm getting kind of nervous here. I'm feeling so great! You're my bestest, friendliest, happy friend in the whole wide world! Ah, <sighs> uh, don't... Brent, my calculations are correct. Then this letter will arrive to your cell right around bedtime. I hope those prison beds are comfortable. Good night, friend. Press space to go to bed. Day two. Oh, this is starting to get interesting. This is starting to get a little, a little interesting. I got some mail. Who's it from? Rise and shine, sleepyhead! I hope you had a good night's sleep! I sure did! Hooray! To celebrate the occasion of you getting up, I have sent you a second game for your portable entertainment product! Oh, okay. That's cool. Uh, I don't have any confetti left. I'm kind of sad about that. Spear of fire. Okay. Oh. Oh, I gotta survive the fire. Okay, I can do that. Yeah, easy. Get away from me, fire. You don't know me. You don't know anything about life. You don't know what kind of cereal I like. You don't know how much milk I like in my cereal. You don't even know if I'm lactose intolerant, fire. You know nothing about me. You know nothing. Was that, is that my spider? <gasps> Steven. Steven, where are you? You just hanging up under the bed? I got a letter from old Sal. Friend, I've decided to head north, which is, as you know, my favorite cardinal direction to head. On the way, I passed by a very interesting river. A sign next to it said that the water changes the direction it's flowing in around this time of year. Fascinating, wouldn't you say, friend? I must say here and I must stay here and witness the change occur occurring. My curiosity is just too tremendous to resist the temptation. As I enjoy vast landscapes and new locations to explore, sometimes in life one must appreciate the little things. Are you trying to make me kill myself? All right. <laughs> I have another present for you. It's a poster to remind you to always keep a smile on your face. Oh. Oh. I don't want that. That's only a freaking creepy looking blood splattered painting. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, whatever. Good day. I don't think you know me. But from what I heard, it seems that you and I are the last people in this town who are still not infected with the virus. I am the owner of a pastry shop not far from where your cell is. But as I don't want to get infected, I cannot tell I cannot sell my pastries to anyone anymore, except you. I really appreciate if you could come visit me sometime and maybe have a cup of tea. Oh yeah, sure. While well, I'm trapped in jail. You know. With Steven. Wherever Steven went. In my bed somewhere. Maybe maybe left. I don't know. This thing's creepy. I don't like it. Get it out of here. I'm just playing my game. Fear fire. Whatever fire. I like you better than the other game anyway. 
Oh, I got a letter. Hang on, I'm like three seconds away from beating this level, guys. Okay. Who is this? Sal? No. By the way, my name is Charlotte. Nice to meet you. We're good. I'm Ken. Nice to meet you, and I have a creepy painting on the wall. And something that reminds someone of travel. I have someone that's that's free tell me all about their great travels and somebody that's crazy that has their family held captive so I don't kill myself who's probably gonna kill me and Steven is gone I haven't seen him even pop out from under the bed in a while and that makes me sad Steven I wish you'd come out and just at least show me your little spidery face you're my friend <sighs> whatever play my game play the game Nope, oh, got a new letter. Is it from old Sal? My dearest companion, the river change in direction was quite interesting to see. This is exactly what I love about my travels. You always get to see new and amazing things. Sal. Screw you, Sal. Screw you, you're a jerk. Well, maybe I'm playing to Steven right now. Maybe he's gone and he's just in my game. Maybe the crazy psycho clown man stole him while I was sleeping. Oh, yeah, a letter. Surprise me. I haven't got one in a while. I'm very sorry if I came off too eager in my last letter to you. Fact is, I really haven't had much contact with people anymore lately. Please forgive me if I made you feel uncomfortable. Well, that's okay, that's okay Charlotte. It's okay. It's okay. I mean, I would like you to be a little eager to, you know, meet me if you know what I mean. So I can have a taste of your buns. I mean, pastries. Your muffin. Ah, god dang it! Oh, another letter. Hello, hello, hello! I hope you're enjoying your two games! They were expensive, you know! <laughs> I'm enjoying my games. Why? Why? Why do you? I mean, yeah, okay, I'm just gonna go back over here and play. I'm like level 13 now or something. Uh, what is this? <laughs> Please don't be sad! Okay. I'm not. I'm happy. I'm just, just bored. Mm -hmm. I know it must be hard all alone in a prison cell, but you must remain happy. Please. Okay, I'm, I'm happy. It's cool, man. He's getting really worried. He's trying to reach out to me now. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's only a matter of time before he goes crazy. Mm, what is this? It's come to our attention that your happy buddy has shown signs of not behaving in an excited and happy manner. Oh, I'm using the wrong voice. If you wish to have your happy buddy replaced, please just send a letter and we will get rid of him. Uh, I don't, I don't want you to get rid of my happy buddy. He's, he, he's, I mean, he sent me this, which is weird. But other than that, he's, you know, he sent me, he sent me confetti. Confetti. And Steven's disappeared. I don't know where, uh oh. What is it, happy buddy? Hello! <laughs> Hello! I heard that some people are reporting their happy buddies to Dr. Money! <laughs> Ooh, he's gonna kill me. <laughs> I'm screwed. He's he he's heard that somebody's reporting and he's gonna come in here and stab me in the face. Alright. Oh great. What's he say now? You know what happens to them, right? Do you? You wouldn't do that to me, would you? <laughs> no, but of course not. You can trust me. I'm happy. I'm happy. Me and this guy right here, just this foreshadowing thing, are just super happy. I promise. <laughs> uh. Oh no. I, I'm, I'm kind of. I don't want to get any more letters from this guy. I'm sorry I haven't gotten you another game yet. I just don't have the money at the moment. It's okay, buddy. I, I, it's cool. I don't, I don't need another game. I just... I mean, I can just, you know, I got enough room. I can do some push-ups here in the corner. I can do some sit-ups. Uh, you know. Uh, okay. I'm so sorry. No, oh, no. Come on, man. No, don't start apologizing. No, let's not... Let's not get negative here. Let's stay happy. Yeah, stop sending me letters. Okay, come on. So very sorry. Oh god. Oh god, come on. 
I don't, I don't want it. Stop sending me letters. I'm, oh, man. Uh, will I make it to day three? I don't know. I think it's starting to get darker a little bit. Oh, good. It's from somebody else, not him. All right. Friend. Is your bug friend keeping you company? Not really. Friend freaking away. Steven's gone. Have you given him a name? Steven. You should. Do you remember how we used to sit by our, the fireside carving chess pieces out of wood without a care in the world? That was a long time ago. My wood carving skills have gotten significantly worse, but I still tried to make you something and make you feel less lonely. It's a leg of a table I'm making for you. I know that not, might not be the most extravagant project, but I hope you like it anyway. Gave me a, a you, sent, oh, you sent me a leg of a table. Well, thanks. I guess I'll just keep this keep this leg here. I guess. Creepy leg. Oh, it's getting dark. I got my creepy freaking creepy freaking poster on the wall. Oh, got a letter. What is it? It is a nice evening, isn't it? I hope you have a nice sleep. Thanks, Charlotte. I don't know if I will. I'm starting to feel very uh, nervous about things. It's okay. No worries. Just let me go to sleep. Don't, don't attack my face. Please. Yes. Go to bed. Day three. Ah, we made it to day three. Victory. We haven't died yet. Nothing crazy's happened. It's still dark. Ah, freaking creepy face. Oh, what is it, happy buddy? Morning, morning, morning! I have some very, very good news for you! What? What is it? Did you find my spider? Did you find Steven? He's gone. What's the good news? Mm. I got you a new game with the last of my money! This one's a real blast! Have fun! Okay, got a new game. Cool, man. You didn't have to. You didn't have to. Get us moonlight. Oh. Oh. Okay. I'm like a uh, just a little bug flying. Just a little flying bug. Eh. Oh, I'm not supposed to hit the walls. Okay. What's this? Don't worry about my spending all of my money. I'm okay. <sighs> okay. You say so, buddy. I'm gonna play your game that you bought for me with all your money. Poor, poor guy. Mm. Just stay happy for me. For the love of all that is holy, stay happy. They're watching. <laughs> okay, I'm happy. It's cool. Don't worry about it, buddy. At least he's not freaking... Seem like he's gonna go psycho killer on me. I got really nervous about that. Alright. Let's keep playing my game. Nope. I'm Charlotte. This world has become such a quiet place. Yeah, it's pretty quiet. I just have nothing but the ticking of this clock to keep me company and the letters that random people send me about weird stuff. This. Mm. I call him Pierre. So many people are dying. I watched them choke to death from the pastry shop window. Dr. Money has started selling some kind of antidote, but I don't trust him. Yeah, I don't trust Dr. Money either. His name's Dr. Freaking Money. And come on. And they, they're holding the guy hostage to make me happy. I mean, really, what's that about? Charlotte? I will not leave my shop. As much as the loneliness pains me, I need to remain here. Okay. Sounds like a plan, girl. Stay in that shop. I got a leg. Hmm. Ah, uh, from old Sal. How are you doing? I have been busy carving the second leg for your table. May you eventually put the table on top of it. I'm starting to feel a little homesick. Perhaps it's time to end my journey? Maybe. Yay! I have two table legs now. Hooray! I'm building something. Or he's building something. Just send it to me so I can put it together. Woo! Oh, happy buddy. There have been incidents of people getting upset about how hard the games for Dr. Money's portable entertainment products are. I mean, they're pretty tough, but I mean, I don't really care. This is a game itself, right? Is this a Dr. Money game that I'm playing? Please do remember. It's not about those games, it's about happiness. 
Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm happy. I'm cool. I'm happy. It's cool, man. It's cool. Oh, good old Charlotte. I found this poster in the attic. I thought it might cheer you up. Again, then again, it's not very cheerful. Maybe you want it anyway, though. Oh, what is it? That's oh, a heart. It's kind of cheerful. I mean, you know, not too bad. Heart with some dangly things, you know? Kind of offsets my freaking creepy picture right here. I don't even know what this is. Up. Oh, who's this? Top secret. Dear Blank, Dr. Money is taking time off his busy schedule to personally tell you that everything is fine. Dear Blank, can't even fill my name in? Well, nah, I feel great. Everything's fine. It's cool. Don't worry, guys. Did you get the last doctor's message? I'm increasingly concerned by the way he is ignoring the people's obvious suffering. The antidote he was talking about is only being sold at ludicrous price. He does not mean well. Yeah, well, I mean, maybe Dr. Money. I'm not surprised. Uh, oh, self. Friend, the third leg of the table is finished. Huzzah! I have also started my long journey back to my hometown. I would say I will probably arrive around tomorrow morning. Look forward to seeing some familiar faces. Sal. Yay! My third leg's here. Hooray! But Steven's still missing. <laughs> The doctors lowered the price of the antidote. However, it seems to cause various... Various what? Visual... Visual? Various something... Organs to fail. People are now not only dying from the virus, but also from the doctor's cure. I'm terrified. The doctor's killing everybody! Well, fan he's selling them death. Oh, good old Charlotte. What's happening in the world, Charlotte? Most of my cakes have gone bad. I must hope all this is over soon. I'm not sure how long I can live all alone. I wish I could come visit you. Charlotte, you don't even, you don't even know me. I haven't even replied back, Charlotte. You don't even know who I'm getting these. You're going crazy, too. Everybody's going to go crazy. Ugh. Oh, Charlotte, what is it? I hope you're getting these letters. Yeah. <laughs> I'm guessing you must, you just can't respond. Do letters still get delivered in times like these? I hope so. Are you even still alive? Oh. Friend! This one gave me some problems, but your fourth leg is all done now. The last part will be there shortly. Salvador, the master woodworker. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Now I have four table legs in my room. I don't have anything to put on the table. I'm surprised they let me have these. But I guess when they don't feed me or anything, then they don't really give a crap. Oh, it's my happy friend, buddy. Are you okay? Apparently more and more inmates are killing themselves. Please don't do that for your sake and mine. Oh man, inmates, don't kill yourself. It's not, I mean, it's not the answer. It's never the answer. I mean, are you gonna feel better after you kill yourself? Of course not, you're gonna be dead. Then you will never have a chance to feel better. It's kind of sad, death. What is this? My dear friend. My goodnight present for you will be the tabletop. Now you finally have something to put stuff on in your cell. I hope you actually have stuff to put on it. Yay, a table! Sweet! Now I have to stand beside the creepy freaking pitcher! Stand over here, I guess. In this corner. So I can watch everything. Dun dun dun. Day four. All right, what's gonna happen on day four? Oh, we got a letter. Friend, my journey has come to an end. As you know, I do not have a family to come home to, but that's not what matters to me. I am looking forward to the smell of my hometown. Well, that's cool, Sal. Hope uh, it all works out for you. I'll just sit here in my jail cell with my table you gave me, my traveling picture, my messed up heart picture and the messed up face it's creepy creepiest thing ever having to stare at that Ugh. it looks like it has a body like there's like an arm right there and it's this body and there's like an arm over there it's gonna get me it's gonna get me where is everyone oh no Sal uh, everybody's so Sal's he didn't know something was wrong. And I couldn't tell. Well, I mean, he sent me this stuff. 
Does he, I forget, does he know that I'm in here or not? I think he does. Hmm. Uh-oh. Morning! I sold my house and my food and one of my lungs, but don't worry! I spent the money on another game for you! Yay! Have fun! Be happy! You sold one of your lungs? The triangle Wars? What am I doing here? I don't even... I'm jumping. Okay. I guess. Thanks, happy friend. You freaking game. You gave me <laughs> the impossible game to play. Yeah, it's pretty impossible. I feel so bad for this guy. He's just trying to protect his family. Oh, Charlotte. These streets used to be so lively. Now they're just silent. I have these old... I have this old gramophone in my basement. Perhaps it's time to break the silence. You should probably, yeah, you should probably do that. Don't go gray on me, please. Do you know what's going on out here? The virus? The organs? The blood? Uh, actually I don't. The blood? The organs? What's he doing with the organs? He's talking about organ failure earlier. Hmm. Oh, and, and the guy sold his lungs too. Mistakes were made. I, Dr. Money, want to personally apologize for any inconveniences that might have arisen from the virus of our creation. Please accept this frame picture of money as consolation. Wow. Money survives all hardships. So they create the virus and the, va the vaccine was supposed to heal everybody and make money and People are dying. The organs are failing because of an antidote for the virus, and everyone is infected. I wonder if I am too. Oh, Sal. Sorry, buddy. I mean, should have told you to stay away if I could, but I can't. There seems to be a huge market for working organs now. Dr. Money has a big supply, and everyone is rushing to the stores and spending all their money. But those organs are not what they seem. Is that the, the end game here is to sell people or to give them a virus, sell them an antidote that causes their organs to fail, and then sell them organs? Man, I mean, I don't even think anybody has any money left. Really, I mean, the, the poor guy sold his lungs, one of his lungs, just to buy me a game so his family wouldn't be killed. No, oh, what is it, Sal? Anyone who uses the doctor's organs dies a couple hours later. Where do they come from? What are they? Does it even matter anymore? Are you infected too, friend? I don't know, Sal. They told me I'm not, but I mean, I could be. I mean, I don't, I don't have any legs. I'm just a floating head with a spider friend that won't talk to me. <laughs> Steven. Oh, Charlotte, good. You're still alive, or how much of these? How much of the outside world can you hear in your cell? How high are you even up? I guess I can't. No. Just listen closely. Play me some music. Thank you. Thank you. That's like coming from over here, though. Or maybe not. Hmm. Yep, Charlotte. Thanks for the song, girl. Could you hear that from up there? I turned it up extra loud for you, but there's n no better. There's no better time than these for a little music. And I feel lonely. I liked it. It was a nice little song. Of course I could play the music again, but is it worth it? I'll never be the same. It'll never be the same magical moment again. That one moment in between all the dreary ones. It was nice. This can't go on forever. Oh, Charlotte. Come on now. Don't be like that, girl. Don't, don't, don't lose hope. Please. I don't even know how many people are dead. I'm afraid to look. I can only see what's outside my window, and I see nothing but blood. I think I am alone. Everyone is dead. What about Sal? Sal dead? The city lights are going out. Sal! You need to find Charlotte. You guys can have babies. Town has no electricity anymore. 
The only lights I see are coming from the prison. One more day. No, no, is she... Is she giving me a... Is she going to only last one more day and then she's going to make her decision? No, Charlotte! No! Mm -hmm. Tomorrow evening. Tomorrow evening what? Until then, you must come here. I will wait here. You know, for these guys to have this guy prisoner and to make me happy, and they're still letting all these letters come in, it seems kind of set up in a way to me. You can't make it. Well, I fear this world is no place for me anymore. Oh, no, yep. Yeah. Comes there. Comes their suicide note soon. But yeah, it's kind of odd. I am waiting your arrival. Until then, here's a cake I made for you. Oh yeah, I got a cake. I hope you like it. Can I eat the cake? Ah, uh, ooh, yummy. Should I, should I, just, should I eat the whole thing? I mean, it's cake. Nom nom. Nom 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 nom. Delicious. Delicious cake. I hope it doesn't have the virus because it came from the outside. Do you hear that wonderful music? I tried to head in this direction, but it was over too quickly. I'm so tired. Sal's alive. I'll just go to sleep in some empty apartment around here. God knows there are enough of those now. I need to see you again, friend. I had some cake. It was delicious. I hope I'm not sick. You were probably still in that cell. All alone. Tomorrow I'll come visit you. But first, let us rest, friend. Buddy! Are you playing your games? Are you happy? Ah, oh, God, not you again. Just leave me alone, happy friend. You're the most depressing one out of all of them. Mm. I am happy, but tired. Sleep, buddy. Sleep. Uh, don't tell me to sleep. Oh, man. Tomorrow, it will all end. So, Charlotte, happy friend, are going to kill themselves, and Sal is probably just going to die. I had to guess. Day five. All right. Been here for five days. Oh, what is it, happy friend? Good morning. Goody, goody morning. All good? All fine? I don't care. I'm not your friend. I was never your friend. Dr. Money was blackmailing me. He kidnapped my daughters. He told me they were safe. He told me they would be okay as long as I kept you happy. But he lied. My daughters are dead. They died from the virus two days ago. I never got to say goodbye. But to you, I will. Oh, God. Ah, uh, don't... Ah... Uh... You cannot lose hope as I now have. I have another game for you. Okay. I don't have the money for such expenses. But there's a huge market for organs now. No, don't don't kill yourself. I have already sold one of my lungs yesterday, and now I'll finish what I've started. Oh, come on. Now I feel bad for you. I signed for them to take all my organs. Money up front. I will not survive the procedure, of course. But that's not important. Yeah, I don't think you can survive without your organs. You are the one and only... Wait, you are, you are one of the only ones left who are still healthy. Please don't lose hope. I hope you enjoy the game. I doubt it because <laughs> I doubt it because it's I doubt it because it isn't fun. Like seriously, not at all. I hope you keep going anyway. Always keep going. Don't give up like me. You never know how much more time you have. Goodbye. Oh no. Happy Happy friend. No, you weren't going to kill me. You uh... Maybe the blood's your blood. 
Oh, no, everybody's gonna kill themselves. What game did he give me? It's not fun. Crankmaster? Oh, is this it? You just, you just crank? <laughs> this is all you do with this game? He was right! Oh, look, the face gets unhappy. You stop. You just, this... Yep. Crank master! He killed himself for this freaking crappy game. It has come to our attention that your happy buddy has stopped talking to you. We would like to remind you that you are loved and that you must remain happy. <sighs> okay. Uh, more. You are worth every penny. What? What do you mean, I'm worth every penny? What are you guys talking about? Uh oh. This is about to get super deep. And, and it's all about me, because I'm the only healthy person alive. Oh, Sal. This town is dead. There's no life left in it. I'm walking through the streets all alone. I'm on my way. Alright, Sal. Don't get dead, please. Okay. Uh, I think I'm close to your prison. I'm really looking forward to seeing you again. You being in that cell this time. You must still be alive, right? I am. Still alive, and Charlotte is waiting for me. I might be writing to a dead man. That thought is kind, of, is kind of scary. I'll not give up, though. A little virus won't kill you now, will it? Uh, hope not. They say I'm healthy, so maybe I am. Just turned one o'clock. Hope that letter's not from Charlotte. Okay, it's not. Listen, we have noticed that you were being contacted by someone with a measurable free spirit. We would like you to ignore all of his letters from now on. Oh no, Sal, you're not gonna make it! You're being taken care of. You are being protected from the virus and the horrors of the outside world. Do not forget, you are a prisoner. Well, thanks. I mean, I didn't, didn't realize that I was a prisoner. Uh, Sal, I think I can see your prison from here. Maybe one or two hours now. Can't wait. And once I'm there, I will release you from prison. All right, Salvador. Three o'clock. Uh-oh. This friend of yours, Salvador, he cannot be here. I do not appreciate the way he talks. I do not appreciate the way he's talking about freedom to you. Sal. You're screwed, buddy. This is no joke. Cease all contact with this Salvador. I'm not doing anything. You guys are the one delivering messages to me. I'm just, I'm just sitting here. I can't do anything. Steven, don't even talk to me anymore. I don't have, I have nothing. Oh, Salvador, what is it? Friend, I have arrived. Where's your cell? Where are these letters being sent to? I cannot seem to enter the building. All the doors are locked. Oh, man. Sal! Oh, oh. I broke in, but the elevator won't come on and there are no stairs. It seems that I have no way from getting... For getting uh, of getting to however high you are up, there must be a way. What am I like a tower or something? Am I Rapunzel? This is getting late, friend. Maybe I don't have to get up there. Maybe, maybe you could just come down here. Oh, Sal. These letters are starting to not make you sense. How you get? How you just throw these letters out when while you're here? You know this building you were in was never supposed to be a prison. There are no cells on the bottom floor. Looking at the plans, there are no cells here anywhere. What? Dr. Money must have repurposed the building to lock you, if we're locking you up. Why would he do that? It seems so arbitrary. That is, uh... That is weird. But no matter. What matters is that the lock on your cell door is powered by electricity. Which means that... Uh oh if I manage to destroy the prison's generator, you will be free to leave, friend. Oh man. Do I want to leave? <laughs> Charlotte, are you coming? Charlotte? I, I mean, yeah, if I can get out, heck yeah, I want to leave. 
Please tell me this. Please tell me that you'll come. I can't tell you anything, Charlotte. I'm so lonely. I'm sorry, friend. No, Charlotte! Charlotte. Charlotte! I'm sorry. Ah, oh, Charlotte! I was just about to get out! Oh! Oh no! My happy friend and Charlotte are both dead and Salvador, you're the only one left! And they know you're here, and... Ah, uh, oh, come on, dang it! Oh, Salvador, what is it? I found the junior friend. I only need to destroy this for you and you'll be free. Come find me at the entrance, friend. I'm looking forward to shaking your hand once more. I'm ready. Uh-oh. Check it out. What is this on the floor? Oh, it's my confetti. Oh. Your friend tried to destroy the generator. That didn't really work out too well for him, did it? He got electrocuted. Your friend is dead. Ugh! They all are. Now your cell door may be open. What do you think leaving will accomplish? This town is dead. You and I are the last ones here. The backup generator only has emergency for those red lights, so the doors are unlocked now. Just stay in your cell. I will send someone to fix the generator for you. You'll be able to keep playing games, your, your portable entertainment product, without a care in the world. You'll be allowed to do whatever you wish to, on one condition. Do not open that door. Oh god, look at that face. I'm out. <sighs> Alright. Let's see what's out here. Uh What's that? Oh, this 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 something gonna show up when I click this. What's that? something. What is it? Button? What the heck am I supposed to do? Press space to install elevator, elevator buttons. Is this the ele- <gasps> I've been in the elevator the whole time! Really? Holy crap. Wow. Here we go, we're going down. We're going down really fast. Oh crap. Oh no. Stop the elevator. Oh man. Uh. Wow, I'm really freaking high up. <laughs> wow! I'm going down so fast that it's like, looks like it's going in reverse. Wait, is it, is it, is it slowing down? Is it slowing down? Or is it just going so fast? Jesus. Oh gosh! Oh no! Oh! Uh, <laughs> Go. It suddenly stopped? How did I not die? Whew! That was crazy. Alright. What is that? Oh, that's a door, okay. Space to leave the building. Okay, I'm outside.
Oh. Oh, is this the bakery? Oh, is this the bakery? Pastries. Oh. 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 Uh, is it, wait, or is it going to be fake? Eat your cake. Oh, wait, where is she? It's a note. This is the note, okay. <clears throat> to my only friend. When you're reading this, I will already be dead. My shop will probably look quite messy. I have decided that I'll go to the back room to die so you won't have to look at my corpse. I'm sorry I couldn't be more patient in waiting for you. That doesn't matter now. What matters is that you're here. Against all odds, you managed to escape the prison. I'm aware that this may seem like a bad ending to the story. But you're here. You're here. And I have baked another cake for you. And I'm not sure how fresh it will be when you find this. As for all I know, you never will. But I hope you enjoy it anyway. I wish you the best of luck. Charlotte. Oh, Charlotte. <sighs> you literally killed yourself the day I got out. Could have got out and I could have found you. We could have had pastries together. Had cakes. Salvador died to let me out. <sighs> he gave me a table. Now he's my memories. Am I going back to the cell? Charlotte's delicious pastries. I am going back to the cell. Steven! There you are! Hey, buddy! You're free! The end. What are these that I'm looking at here? These cells? Oh, well. Well, <sighs> never really gonna know what happened, I guess, but... Charlotte's dead. My happy friend's dead. Uh, Salvador's dead. Let me out. Sad. Guess there couldn't be a happy ending really anyway. Presentable liberty. Presentable liberty. I guess it made it look like I was free in the end, but I'm not. Huh. Well, that was pretty good. It's probably a long video, but uh, if you stuck with it, thanks a lot, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a good story. It's really good. Hope you enjoyed it for real. Today's your birthday. Happy birthday. And I'll see you next time. Stay toasty, my friends.